Hey folks. Well, it's a rainy day today. And I'm out here uh, harvesting my San Marzano tomatoes in between cloud bursts. <laughs> uh, I got some beautiful, beautiful ripened tomatoes here and I'm hand picking the ripest to the ripe. Uh, there's quite a few that still need a couple more days to be perfect and uh, I'm gonna let them set but for right now I need uh, 25 pounds what I'm going to do is I'm going to be making my own homemade canned spaghetti sauce and uh, it's just I love it there's nothing like it you just can't buy anything like what you can make at home and these tomatoes that I'm picking are a San Marzano they're a special tomato for sauces and these are an Italian heirloom and uh, they make beautiful sauces and I also found a nice little surprise in the garden this fall. Nice little mushroom. There are a couple others in here that I've seen. And that is, that is wonderful. That is something you really want to see. That means that I have a good fungus in my soil. And that fungi is, is alive. It means that my soil is alive. That's basically the soil's life force. And that, that fungi will spread all throughout the garden here. And it also means I have a good mycorrhizal fungus in here. I saw that last year. And last year was the first year I actually saw this in my garden. And that's what you get. From the mulch and the non-tilling means that soil is alive and thriving. I had mentioned in an earlier video that my broccoli was going to flower and that I was just going to cut it off and some side shoots would come out and I have done that several times but I just wanted to let you know that I don't throw this away. If it's flowered like that, I still eat it. I take it in the house and I'll put it in a steamer and I'll steam it for about five minutes. It's still delicious. Well, I think I've easily got 25 pounds here. I'd like to clarify a little bit. In earlier videos, I've been calling these a Roma tomato. Um, I just like to let those out there who are unaware that a San Marzano is a Roma tomato. Well, this is how things look right now. The broccoli, as you can see, still doesn't look too bad. Tomatoes. I had a lot of my Roma tomatoes that got wasted simply because I never trellised them. And they were on the ground and they rotted before I could harvest them. Although I still had a fairly large harvest of Roma tomatoes and I ended up making about I think it was six quarts of my own homemade spaghetti sauce so that was pretty good As you can see peppers are all done and over here squash of course is gone and the mescal mix is still doing well Although, I haven't been eating too much of it lately and it's starting to get big. I'll probably chop it down. I don't know how fast it's going to come back though with this cold. I'll just kind of chop it and we'll watch and see what it does.
Well, that looks like that's about all I've got to spread. I could put a rake on and uh, spread that out a little finer, do a little better job. But right now it's, it's very wet and it's kind of like trying to spread mud. And you can also see some clumps. That's because it's frozen. So I'm just going to let this sit here for the winter. And come spring we'll rake it out a little finer. What's left of it anyways. Well, it looks like that's it for the garden for this year. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.